Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 36th question from CBSE Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section E, where each question is of 4 marks. Now, the 36th question is from the Quadratic Equations chapter. While designing the school yearbook, a teacher asked the student that the length and width of a particular photo is increased by x units each to double the area of the photo. The original photo is 18 cm long and 12 cm wide. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. So the first question is, write an algebraic equation depicting the above information. So let us understand the question first. So here is a school photo as we can see. And we can clearly see that it is in the shape of a rectangle. And the dimensions that is the length and width of this rectangle is 18 cm and 12 cm. Now the dimensions that is the length and width was increased by x units each to double the area of the photo. So let us first label this given figure. Now the small rectangle is being labeled as A, B, C, D and the extended area is labeled as P, B, Q, R. Since the first question is asking us to form an equation between the two areas given, we can write area of the rectangle P, B, Q, R that is the larger rectangle is going to be equal to 2 times the area of the smaller rectangle that is A, B, C, D. So here the length of the larger rectangle is extended. That means the total length is going to be x plus 18 or 18 plus x. And the width is also going to be 12 plus x or x plus 12. So here we have written the area of the rectangle as x plus 18. This is the length times the width that is x plus 12 because the area of the rectangle formula is length times width. Repeating the same step on the right hand side, we get two times area of rectangle ABCD that is length times width. The length of the smaller rectangle was 18 and width was 12. So this is going to give the answer for the first question. Since this is for one mark, you can multiply this answer and keep. Otherwise, you can keep the answer as it is. Now let us move on to the second question. So here the second question is also for one mark. Write the corresponding quadratic equation in standard form. This is not in the standard form. So we need to get it in the standard form. So here we have written down the same expression as it is x plus 18 times x plus 12 is equal to 2 times 18 times 12. Now let us expand the bracket. That is x times x gives us x square and x times 12 gives us 12x plus 18 times x gives us plus 18x and 18 times 12 gives us 216 is equal to 2 times 18 times 12 gives us 432. Now let us bring the 432 on the left hand side of the equal to sign. So we get x square plus 30x that is adding 12x plus 18 gives us 30x plus 216 and plus 432 becomes minus 432 equal to 0. Now simplifying this one step further, we get x square plus 30x and adding these two together, we get minus 216 equal to 0. So this is the answer in the standard form. Now let us move on to the next sub question. So the third question has an OR question as well and they are for two marks. What should be the new dimensions of the enlarged photo? So here basically we need to find out the value of x and then add it with the length and the width of the original rectangle. So this is what the equation we had got in the second part that is x square plus 30x minus 216 equal to 0. So here we have to factorize this equation and the factors are x square plus 36x minus 6x minus 216 equal to 0. So the factors are 36 and negative 6. So you can use the prime factorization method to find out the factors of 216 and then check when they added or subtracted gives you 30x. And when multiplied, they should give you negative 216. So here the factors are 36 and negative 6. So the next step is to group. That is, we are going to group the first two terms and the last two terms and take out the common factors. So from the first term, you have x as a common factor and in the bracket stays back x plus 36. And from the next two terms, we have negative 6 as a common factor. And in the bracket, you have x plus 36 equal to 0. Now x plus 36 is a common factor so we are going to pull it out and the second factor is going to be x minus 6 equal to 0. Now independently writing the factors we get x minus 6 equal to 0 and x plus 36 equal to 0. Now taking negative 6 on the other side of equal to sign we get x equal to 6 centimeter or x equal to negative 36 centimeter. 
Since the dimension cannot be a negative number, you have to discard this value. So the value of x has to be only 6 cm, which means the new dimensions of the enlarged photo, that is the length and the width is going to be, length is x plus 18, so x is 6, so we have 6 plus 18 as 24, and the width is x plus 12, so we have 6 plus 12, which gives us 18 cm. So the new dimensions are going to be 24 cm and 18 cm. Now let us move on to the OR question. Can any rational value of x make the new area equal to 220 centimeters square? So let us take into consideration the new area now, which is, so this was the dimension of the bigger rectangle, that is x plus 18 times x plus 12. Now they have said is to make this new area equal to 220. So this is what we have written here. Again, we are going to follow the same steps, that is expanding the brackets on the left hand side. We get x square plus 18x plus 12x plus 216 equal to 220. Now getting 220 on the left hand side, we get x square plus 18 plus 12 is 30x plus 216 minus 220 equal to 0. Now simplifying this, we get x square plus 30x minus 4 equal to 0. Now here in the question, they have asked, can any rational value of x make the new area equal to 220? So for these kind of questions, we have to make use of the discriminant formula. So here we have discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac. Now the value of a, b and c, we have to take from this equation. So here a is the coefficient of x square and here it is going to be 1 because there are no numbers. And for b, we have the value of x or the coefficient of x as 30. And for c, that is the constant term in the given expression, it is going to be equal to negative 4. So let us substitute these values in this discriminant. So 30 square minus 4 times a value is 1 times c value is negative 4. So 30 square is going to give us 900 and minus of minus is plus and 4 times 4 is 16. So the discriminant value we got it as 900 plus 16 which is 916. Now remember that here they have asked can any rational value of x. Rational value means you have to get a perfect square number over here like 225, 441, these are the square of some numbers like 15 and 21. But 916 is not a perfect square number. So we cannot have any rational value of x that will make the new area equal to 220 centimeters square. So let us write here, 916 is not a perfect square number. Thus we cannot have any rational value of x. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.